35 teams in the country. They are 344. Brock with a runner. Banked it off the glass. Facing and attacking. 42-39. Brock pull up against the young freshman Buna. Huge possession here. Martino Brock into the lane. Scoop shot. He made it deep. Brock got the roll. And the lane missed again. Getting pretty good looks. Can't finish. Brock on the run. And nothing by the ball. Just doesn't have a whole lot of range on that shot. Brock! Martino! Try a little trap here. Don't let Brock Very interesting ball game here. Absolutely right. Brock again explodes to the ball. To the basket and the foul. And during that timeout, Roxy got into a zone, one in the back fourth. in that zone. Really wanted to force challenge two point shots on the Bulls. Brock from the corner. The main man to rebound for the Cougars. This is a big time to really get into that lead and take some distance and just move effectively Martin. down the stretch. And he leads the American Conference in assists. Here's Brock to the basket. Nice move by Martino Brock. And the Regents just approved a new practice facility, a $20 million practice facility for the Houston basketball program. And I think that's that's big, particularly in the American Conference. It's at shoot for Rudd. Martino Brock elevates and hits off the glass. Of the They're out for Rudd. He is their star player. Five to shoot. Victor Rudd, a kick out for Brock. He hits it. This has been the home of the Cardinals for four years. Steal. It's Brock. He's fouled. And he gets a free throw. The tip. Martino Brock missed it. Got the rebound. And Brock with some hard work. That's been cleared points. five weeks ago. He's wearing a knee brace on that left knee. Brock off the steal. And even though UCF is the best rebounding team in the American. From the corner. That goes in for Brock. Again, the Knights the best rebounding team in the league. Oh, what a play long. by Brock. Tim to shoot. Up for Brock. Falling Wait, away. Got, got the bounce. How did he get between defenders yet again? Oh, oh, and and team came out of that stretch feeling like, yeah, we can stay with these teams. Here's Brock with the shot clock winding down. That was pretty sick. <laughs> that was pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Brock with the and one. He finished. Better. Easy rebound for Rudd. He'll do the whole work himself to the corner. And just inside the arc. Stretch the lead now to 19. Brock inside the arc. Good There's spot on the pick up. Brock right there for the tip in. Six for Cincinnati on the push, playing five on four. A steal by Brock. Numbers for the Bulls. He back to Brock. 12 games. He's been consistent. He has a chance to be an all-conference performer. Brock in the lane. First two for the Bulls. Taken away by Rudd. Look out below. He leaves it for Brock. Heads up play. And Budu knocked it away on the defensive end. Here's Brock. The bump and the bucket. They're hacking it in. Daring the outside shot. And Dualeen misses on a three. But Martino on the bench score. This was good because of the lack of three-point shooting. Right. And they put it just on the dribble. They got to make sure they get there quick, though. Oh, Brock Allen is on the rebound. About a 12-second differential between shot clock and game clock. Has points, five dimes. Here's Brock found a scene. Martino Brock's come up. Stolen by Brock. There's Brock muscling up with the left hand. Forces it blocked by McClendon. Here's Allen. Three on one. 
Brock! Backed off the dribble. Collins finds Brock in the corner for three, and he backs That's it. That's what Phil Forte does in and out of season. And Phil Forte back to 100% after only being able to play four minutes against Memphis because of a stomach bump. He tips it out to Anthony Collins. Collins, inside layup, but I think that might have been. Feet, given a lot of room. Now you got to go back to T, but this time you need some help. You just don't throw it away. Good defense by the day. He was running, and now they get it out to Brock and Brock. Collins to the corner. He's in the post. Nobody over. Javante Hawkins is in. Ball movement leads to a Brock three. And DeAndre Daniels is going to need some help. He's done the brunt of the damage. He's got half of Connecticut's points. Martino Brock Back has to the largest lead for South Florida at 13. Bolt right threw it away. Collins back to Brock. We'll see what happens on Saturday when Connecticut takes on Providence. At Gamble, final game of the season for Connecticut. Martino Brock really wants that ball on the left block. The steal by Brock, his second of the game. Up and under. And Five on the shot clock. Brock all alone. You gotta hit that. Switching man to man on the part of Panthers here. Here's Martino Brock, once upon a time, the leading scorer. More known for a shot clocking ability. For showing us he can dish out a few dimes as well. There's a lob to Brock. Collins. Good ball movement. Brock's got the three. And he can't this is the big East crew. USF wins the tap, and Martino Brock, the junior guard from Memphis, takes it to the rim. Uh, we talked to seconds ago. Only was the 16 foul, so the Bulls get it underneath two to go, and that's. What do you do if you're standing on offense? I tell you, you got to clear an area, I think, for Collins and let him, let him have a little bit more room. Brock uh, from the way. And the lead back up to a Baker's dozen. Brock from just inside the three-point line.